Guten Tag, wie geht's? Ich heiße Emma Robes and ich falling into place presentation. Or for my English listeners, I am Emma Rose Thayer and this is my presentation on the realistic fictional novel Falling Into Place by Amy Zane. Thank you for listening. So what does the title Falling Into Place mean? And Amy Zane chose to tie her title in to Newton's Law of Motion and Liz Emerson, the main character, was just studying that in physics class when she decided to put her knowledge to the test and crash her Mercedes into the highway in a suicide attempt. So why? Why did Amy Zane choose this horrific death for her main character? A lot of readers ask that question. And I believe it's because she wanted to highlight the insincerity that society has taken towards depression, how we have belittled the disease by calling it a phase, how we have masked the creature that it is. Depression and mental illness. So Liz Emerson, the main character, had exhibited early set on depression signs since she was 14 years old, and no one heeded her symptoms including her two best friends, Julia and Kenna, her mother, and her own guidance counselor. Julia and Kenna both knew that Liz participated in binging and purging, and they both knew she was plagued with depression, but failed to raise awareness because they felt, Liz, my friend? No, she can't. She can't be depressed. And because they did not raise awareness, Liz thought they must not care. And Liz's own mother didn't realize that Liz spent most of her nights breaking into her wine cabinet, spent in a drunken slur, because Liz's mother was off on business, because she felt like raising a child after her husband had died was far too much work for a single parent. And Liz's guidance counselor, Liz went to her for help. He didn't want, she didn't want to help her. She thought her reputation had preceded her and there was no way that Liz could ever be truly upset. So all four of these people, there were four opportunities for them to raise awareness to help out Liz, but rather they did not because of the taboo regarding depression. Whereas if Liz was exhibiting signs of cancer, they would have told her and had her seek medical attention because cancer and depression, I mean, cancer is talked about, whereas depression, depression is just an awkward subject that no one wishes to breach. So, like looking into a glass, people only want to see what they wish. This is the Liz Emerson that people wanted to see. It was the popular girl, the untouchable girl. She was unbreakable. However, this is what Liz saw looking out of the glass. She was tired. She was. She thought she was too fat, so she had to purge herself. She thought she had to make fun of everyone just to fit in. So these books can be available at Amazon.com or you can find it at your local bookstore. Now, um, does my audience have any questions? Yes. Um, if I wanted to get some information about a, for a friend that I was maybe worried about, um, how would I do that? Well, there's a there's a lot of outreach forums out there that you can visit on the website. But what I find easiest is um, there's a lot of suicide awareness hotlines, and the easiest one for me to remember is one eight hundred suicide, and they can help you by giving you a list of symptoms and um, treatment options. Oh, okay. Yeah. Petition. Petition. Feeling donk, or thank you for watching my presentation. I hope you learned a lot about falling into place, and I hope you go pick it up at the bookstore, because as sad as it may seem, it is worth the read. It's truly eye-opening. And these are my image sources.